Ah, welcome, seriously welcome to a John Leg fragrance review right here on YouTube. You know what, I really appreciate your company because this is a crazy hobby of mine. And you know what, I had to laugh. Someone sent me a comment recently, they said, Leggy, Leggy, are you getting paid for these reviews? How much are they paying you for them? <laughs> I have to be honest, I sat there and I giggled because I thought, I reckon I am the least professional fragrance reviewer on YouTube. But hopefully, I'm the most honest and I'm the most fun. And seriously, I'm here for two reasons. First reason, I'm here to share these fragrances with you. And the second reason is to inspire you. Seriously, to inspire you to wear a good fragrance every single day, all day, every day, a good fragrance. That's what I'm here for. <sighs> Tucked at the back of my Latifah collection, which is on a shelf which is, needs to be a bit bigger because it grows every day. Tucked down the back here is a fragrance which doesn't see daylight very often. And I'm going to try and explain why. Okay. It's not that it's a bad fragrance. Don't worry about that. But I need to explain why I don't wear it that often. Okay. So, here it is. A funny horse stood up on its back legs. And it's called... It's a difficult one to pronounce. And I can already feel the messages coming in saying, Leggy, you spelt it. No, you didn't spelt it. You said it completely wrong. But I'm going to have a go. I'm an English guy. This is an Arabic word. I'm going to give it a go. So it's called, as far as I can tell, Lael Malachi. Forgive me if I got it wrong. Okay. So, you know what? This fragrance, 100ml of the perfume, cost me £12 on eBay delivered. So it's an inexpensive fragrance. And let me try and recapture the first time I ever sprayed this fragrance several months ago. When I first smelt it, I could think of only two words. I just thought, chemical pineapple. Okay. I didn't totally dismiss it, but it wasn't something that sort of grabbed me around the throat and said, you've got to wear this. It wasn't that kind of fragrance. But here's the thing. Let me tell you about the first time I wore this, because I put some on my arm, some on my neck, some on the top of my head. Good place to put it, actually, because it radiates nice. Especially if you haven't got hair. Hair is overrated, by the way. <clears throat> so I put a bit on and I wore it. And after an hour, I was like, hmm, this is good, you know. I'm quite impressed. There's a very nice sort of radiating projection coming off me. And for that first full hours, that's all I could smell. Okay, and you're going to say, Leggy, that happens with most fragrances. When it got to eight and a half hours and I was sat there and I was still in this good scent bubble that was gently radiating, up, radiating off me, I was like, I'm actually really impressed with this fragrance. And okay, the first time I wore it, although the smell didn't completely win my heart, seriously, when it was eight and a half, nine hours later, and it was still just gently radiating off me to the point where that's what I could smell, I was like, it's won my heart in terms of, a, a, you know, a performance. Because let's be honest, the majority of the Latifers, after four hours of being a very good fragrance, scent bubble trial and all that sort of thing, after four hours, they kind of fizzle out a little bit. This one, Seriously, at the nine and a half hour, I could still smell it gently coming off me. So it actually won my heart. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to wear it again. And I did. I spent about a week wearing this fragrance. And I got to the point where I actually enjoy this fragrance. Because I put it on in the morning and I can still smell it, literally still smell it late afternoon into the evening. Okay, nobody throughout the time I've worn this, nobody has ever commented on it. Nobody has ever sort of said you smell good, you smell bad, whatever. I've never had a compliment from this one. Let me try and explain to you the smell. Because although the performance 
You know, I get loads of messages from people and they say, which Latifah goes the longest, Levy? I'm going to say, this is in that category. This is seriously, the performance is long and strong. It really is. But the reason why I don't wear it too often is the smell. Now, I love the smell, but let me try and explain to you the problem with the smell. You know, on the top shelf, you've got a nice pineapple note okay so you know the pineapple in i'm not even going to try and say it i'll just show you you know the pineapple note in that one which is sweet sugary syrupy pineapple it's that pineapple but it's kind of it's not sweet it's kind of just quite a a, a, a muted sort of pineapple it is a pineapple it's a very clear pineapple note but it's not sweet sugary syrupy it just sits there a toned down pineapple. Also in the top, I sort of detect, although I don't think it's in the notes, I detect a slight sort of tangerine orange sort of note. I don't know whether, I think that's just my brain sort of being weird, but I kind of get a tangerine orange note. There's also some cinnamon, so it's going to give it that sweet spiciness to it. In the middle shelf of this one, you've got some rose and you've got some jasmine. You're going to pick out the jasmine. You've got that sweet sort of floral jasmine. The rose is there. It's not a massive player. And at the bottom, now this is the thing, you've got sandalwood and you've got amber. And the weird thing is, in my nose, that's kind of, it turns it a little bit musky. As far as I'm aware, there is no musk in this, but the sandalwood and the amber, they smell kind of musky. Okay, now, this lasts as a fragrance for about nine to ten hours, just gently radiating off you. On clothes, it's about two days. Skin, it's there the next morning. Seriously. This the performance is solid. And when I've talked about those notes, you're probably thinking, you know, pineapple sounds good, cinnamon sounds good, amber, sandalwood, you know, they all sound good. It turns out that nobody else likes this fragrance. You know, I take it to work, I spray it for neighbours, I spray it on lots of people, young, old, male, female, and I've got to be honest, nobody has ever gone, I like it, Levy. Let me tell you about the sort of comments I get. Even those who I work with are quite broad minded about fragrances. They all say, Leggy, it smells like me nan. Someone else said, Leggy, it smells like me grandma. So I've got to be honest. I cannot recommend that you go out and buy this because it's it's only going to appeal to a very, very limited audience. It's sweet. It's sort of slightly musky, although I don't think there's any musk in there. Sweet, musky sort of fragrance. It's It does lean feminine. I, I will say that. It does lean feminine. But, you know, the ridiculous thing is all the females I sprayed it for, they all went, oh, no, like, you know, it's for an old granny. So I'm tortured with this one. For me, to, to put a fragrance on in the morning and to still smell it in the evening for £12, the performance is beyond question. I love the smell, but nobody else does. You know what? All right. I cannot just say go out and buy, you know, quite often with these latifers, I kind of know what you're going to like sort of thing. And I'm saying, oh, you know what? It's just a blind buy. This is not a blind buy. Okay, exercise a lot of caution and be prepared for a smell that kind of smells a little bit dated, that kind of smells like, apparently like everyone's nan and gran and grandma, but a smell that maybe like me, because the performance won my heart, I've actually ended up really liking the smell. And I can't convince you either way. And I suppose at £12, you could kind of risk buying it and thinking, mm. but then you can't sort of have the option of passing it on to a female because they don't like it either. They sort of all went, mm, it'd be all right on me gran or it smells like me grandma or whatever. So maybe if your gran or nan or grandma is still alive, 
that's the only guy that could confidently buy this because they've always got somewhere to sort of say, look, oh, I bought you a present, Grandma. All right. I hope this made sense. Performance, a 10, no, a 15 out of 10. The smell, for me, it's like an 8 out of 10, so I've, I've learned to love it. But for everyone else, it was like a minus 1 out of 10. Okay, so there you go. I've been honest with you. I've told you the plus sides. I've told you the minus sides. And I can't tell you to rush out and buy it. So stay safe. Spray fragrance every single day. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.